Hi, I'm Brad Knowles, producer of Friday Night Flies, hosted by Scott LeBoldis and Scotty Holmes. Enjoy the show. Okay. Oh, hey. hey, maybe you can tell people what you're doing right now. Hey, um, you're it's, picking up beads. It, it's Don't Friday lie. Night Flies. I'm picking up beads uh, yeah. because I just dumped my whole pack on the bench. Uh, but that's okay. Yeah. I, I'm here tying. I'm tying up one of Brad's patterns. I'm tying up a variant of it, black and blue. Um, I took this pattern, saw Brad tie it last week, and I'm like, man, this just sexy. It swims beautifully. It's supple and it's sexy. It's supple, sexy. <laughs> you can't go wrong with this pattern. And I know Brad's done his variant on his fly already today. Oh, buddy. But I'm a like, variant when you're the creator, I guess not. <laughs> but I, I just had to do one in black and blue with a little bit of a different type of body than what Brad did. So, yeah. Are we gonna get right to it? Yep. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So I got a black. This is more of like a cutthroat pattern. I tie it with a four, a size four for your steelhead, but. I got it on a size six right now for your cutthroat. And I'm just going to put my thread on. Okay. You know, I'll tell you the reason behind that, the bead on the head. We did it on the first one. Go ahead, keep time. I'm going to just okay. talk while you're going. We all know that an egg sucking, sucking leech, leech yeah. has probably caught more steelhead than any fly on the planet. And they're known for having. The chenille head, or a dubbin head, or yeah. a head of some sort. And to me, that bead has got way more traction than any chenille or any dubbin. Oh, for sure. So that's kind of where we got it. And it gives you something to button your stuff up to as well, to clean it up. Make yeah. It real clean. I That's why I liked it, is because of the, it was clean for tying it. It's simple too. It's yeah. Quick. And again, I don't, I, trust me, I like to tie big salmon flies, but I don't have a whole lot of money to throw around on the big, nice, fancy materials. Oh, I know. And this is like a poor man's... This is like the poor man's... Spay fly. <laughs> spay fly. But when you got awesome sponsorships like Solarez and Dr. Slick and Chinook, Griffin and Chinook Wind Outfitters, they hook us up big time. And quite honestly, it would be very... It would be a lot more expensive to do this show without our sponsors. So, I've just taken the uh, more marabou-y type feathers from my black schlappen, and I just, I don't want a long tail, I just want a short stubby tail. I'm just gonna tie that in. Thing that didn't get catch, I just like to pull it out after. Okay, so now Brad, what he did was he leveled his out a little bit more. What I'm gonna do because this is such a small fly is I'm gonna take some 0 0.20 lead wire and I'm gonna put that on. Hi, right, Susan's and then, already got some uh, Lady Amherst and uh, Rhea coming our way too. Oh, so. sweet! Yeah, that's gonna be awesome. I was so excited when I found it, when I heard about this. Okay, so I've got some 0 .20 lead wire. This is what's gonna help uh, level my body out from that butt end. So I'm just gonna take it, loop it, right, first off. Just get it started and then I can let go of this side. There we go. So now I'm just gonna wrap up the body about the same length as I want my body material to be. And this is just gonna add a little bit more weight to your fly, which is gonna get down quicker, which means you're gonna be catching fish a lot faster. So I wanna wrap that about, I guess, halfway up the shank. Halfway up the shank. I'm gonna tie it off.
Now, if you haven't even if you haven't noticed and haven't thought about tying this pattern yet, highly suggest it. I just I haven't gotten a, fit, a chance to fish it yet, but Brad said it swam beautifully, so I just had to take it out to our small little river here in Pemberton and just see how it swims, yeah, and it just we, we really it's beautiful. So, now that we've got that lead wrap on there, that's going to help our fly drop a lot faster. So, I'm just going to make some cross wraps, and that's going to help it from moving. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. There we go. And now, I am going to take this craft it's called craft um cord okay, justin sanders wondering what uh, bobbin you're using there i am using uh oh man what is it called is that the loon, or it's not a loon? no it's not a loon i oh man what's the name again he, he put me on the spot here <laughs> i completely i'm i know the name i'm just blanking it now it's very similar to scott's uh stofo uh bob bobbin it's a self-tensioning bobbin um it'll come to him here yeah shortly. it'll come to me anyways i'm gonna put in my uh cord my craft cord as it's called and this oh, is it's the right half hitch bobbin is that, yes is that the one yes that's it thank god dan is paying attention so i'm gonna wrap that back or tie that into the back of my tail here we go Put that up there. Where's my whip finisher? There it is. I'm just gonna whip finish this. Put a little half hitch in if you oh so desire. And now, using the beautiful rotary feature of the mongoose, I'm gonna wrap this stuff. <coughs> wrap this stuff down my shank. As you can see, that's already pretty pretty beautiful looking sexy looking just without our solar as but then we're going to add our solar as in and it's just going to make a world of difference so we're going to lock that down and I put one extra wrap because I knew it was going to splay just a little bit at then Oh my gosh. Uh -oh. King me. Okay. That's okay. We're doing it fast way now. Hammer down, bud. I'm just trying not to bump the camera. <laughs> okay. So we'll get that back on there. You know what? Now would be a good time to go to our... Uh, yeah, let's go to our sponsors and I can get this. Flies would like to thank the following sponsors. Superfly. Solarez. Chinook Wind Outfitters, Dr. Slick, Griffin, Stonefoe. Well, I'll tell you one thing. That little uh, video is that, handy. Yeah, that is. <laughs> that is so hey, handy right thank there. Thank you again, sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. <laughs> okay. Now, that's what I should have done was get my bobbin out this way. Because if I do it the other way, it's going to bump the camera. Now. Now I can lock it down without letting go of it. I'm trying to goof around with my bob, my bobbin holder. Just gonna lock that down. And this stuff, it, it's a lot like what the material Brad was using. That what was it called? The Frenchy, your body material. Oh, uh, put me on the spot. It's French roll, I think. It's French like. roll. Um, you know what, I'll get the right name of it. Uni French. Sorry. Uni French. An oval, large. So this is almost like a blue version. I've had this for a while, and I didn't quite know what I was going to use it for, but now I know. Now, we got that on there. We're going to do another whip finish. I, I just really like using the rotary feature of this vise. It just makes life so much faster. So, I'm going to take some Solarez Thig here this time versus Bragg using the bone dry. Uh, the bone dry is a little bit thinner than the thing here. 
So I want to use the thin cure because it likes to soak into these fibers because it's like a cord. It, so all the cure is going to soak into that fiber and not only put a protective shell around this, it's going to put a protective shell throughout the uh, material as well. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to choose this uh, material for the body. I'm just gonna take my bod, my bodkin. Just gonna just gonna level it out a little bit. And I'm gonna take my brand new solar res light, and bam! Look at that stuff smoke. That's just it's glorious. It's absolutely beautiful, and you can see how UV that uh, that cord is. It's just all it wants to do is glow. And if you can't tell me a fish isn't going to be attracted to that, you're dreaming. Okay. Let's get this up here. I'm going to put a dubbing loop in. One day I bring my dubbing loop tool and all the other days you're using a uh, paper clip. A paper clip. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of my soul my superfly uh, holographic diamond dub. This stuff is a little bit stringy, so I I always like to put this stuff in uh, in a dubbing loop. Let's get the right side. Get a nice big chunk of it. Put that up there, move that down there, spin her up. Hey, um, your hook is really sagging to the tip, just straighten it up. Oh. You're, you're making Mr. Sander here, he, he's uh, losing his marbles. Oh, it, it's weird looking, <laughs> at, like honestly, I would notice that at home, but I'm tying almost over top of it, so you don't really notice it. Okay, now that I got that like that, all spun up. Just gonna grab it with my hackle pliers. Just gonna wrap this up, make a little bit of a dubbing ball, as well as I'm gonna palmer it back a little bit. Trying not to hit the camera. And this just adds more flash to your fly. Drives the fish more crazy. Now, lock her down. Locking her down. Oh, he's done. Almost. Oh. You could fish it like that. You could fish it like this. It's a nice little coho buster. Coho ball buster. Okay. Now that I've locked this down and made it a little bit more smooth, I'm going to take my Velcro strip and I'm just going to bug it out. There we go. And I'm going to take some... Let's see which one do I like more. I'm going to take some blue saddle hackle, rooster saddle hackle, and this stuff... It's got a natural bend to it, like this, and you want that to be going with the hook. I want my tail, my wing to be the same length as my tail, or close to it. So when we tie that in, it's still going to be a little bit long. There, that's that's right there. Trim that end piece up a little bit. And like Brad said, you want this to ride true, so you want to tie it in straight. Don't want no rolling flies, eh, Ethan? No. Them rolling flies. And that was, that was like the one of the most fastest things I learned when I first started fly tying was how to not make your fly roll. Or less 
as least as possible. So you put your bucktail over top of your wing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to take some of my white bucktail. Right, he'll learn. It's all good. It'll work. <laughs> It'll, It'll work. Just, yeah. I want it to be just a little bit shorter than your wing. Tie that in place. There we go. Now I'm just going to take some of the black, our black schlappen that we had earlier. I'm going to tie it in at the base because I want the longer feathers to be overlapping the whole fly. Well, I might pull a brat on you there, Ethan, and say you might have to leave a couple of those here. Oh, yeah? I think I'm going to go steelhead in tomorrow. And that looks like the color combo I want to throw first thing in the morning. That's what I thought, too. Okay. So now I'm going to wrap that hackle. And... I find this stuff likes to, where my velcro strip go? I find this stuff likes to really stick together, so when we're done, I'm going to just... I, schlapping it? Yeah, the schlapping likes to stick together a little bit. Hey, break that up with the so velcro I'll break after. it up with the velcro, and then I'll make it look all purdy. And that's enough right there. Locker in place. Trim that up. Pull it all back. Give her some nice good wraps. We gotta make some t-shirts, lock it down. We do. And have you and somebody in the head. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Okay. Copyright. So yeah. now we're just gonna take our take our yeah. Velcro strip and we're just gonna yeah. get in there with the slapping. Splay it out. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm just gonna take my whip finisher and whip finish it off. Yeah, that's fucking perfect. F in. That's being great though. Whip finish her off. That's pretty funny. I'm not too worried about that whip finish because we're gonna use some of our Superfly bone dry to seal up that whip finish because of those nice meaty steel head. Like to really chomp on your flies. To do that? Yeah. Oh when I do a run of them, like it cost me like eight bucks or something. And then the the and all that, all that well, the there we go. One time, whatever, now I put my bone dry on there. Zap it with the awesome solar res light. This stuff dries hard, not tacky. Yeah, that usually costs like 80 bucks. And once you have it, once you have it. Yeah. And then it's 8 bucks. We have to change this. And now you can see how UV that body is with that bucktail and everything. And there you go. That's the uh, Brad Brad's variant, or that's my variant on Brad's uh, fly. Oh, whatever, man. You take credit on that. That's your fly. Looks good. Looks Anyways, good. yeah, that this is tied on a size six. I tied on a size four. Give it a nice roll for it. It's us, just buddy. that I did not have. There, you can see that. Oh, the six is a good little yeah, cutthroat. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was and thinking. A six yeah. for cutthroat. Put up for the big guys. Okay, buddy, we're going to go up top here. Okay. Go ahead. So we're up top. Uh, that's my fly for this Friday. Uh, thank you to all our sponsors again. Um, I guess this show be a lot more expensive without you guys. Uh, Wouldn't so, yeah. be nearly as cool either. No. It's like having solar res, I don't think I'd ever, 
I would have I didn't know about the company until we got them as a sponsorship and now I anyone who asks me about uh, a UV resin I'm straight away solar res it's the I've used a loon and I've used uh, solar res and I much prefer solar res and hold that overall. up overall hold that up because you'd still be tying on that I, I would if be if it wasn't for Griffin <laughs> it's true I would and the mongoose team yeah we still tying on that damn thing. Like Hold Rick it. is like here. Okay, <laughs> so hard to... we got lots okay. of stuff to go here. So, so have a good night. That's Friday night flies. See you next week.